Hey guys, welcome back to Smoke and Meats. Today we're making a double smoked slider that you can make for any party that will definitely be a hit. Let's check it out. All right, for those of you that have watched my on the top chili video, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of smoking both beef and pork in a ball together on the master belt. Now, I had this thought after I made my chili to say, hmm, could I make a slider using that same meat, which is just fantastic because it's been smoked in a beautiful little slider that I double smoke after the fact to get the cheese to melt? And then I think the answer is yes. So first guys, one pound beef, one pound pork, we're gonna go ahead and mix this all up into a ball and we're going to season it today with two gringos chupacabra this is the brisket magic fantastic stuff again you guys know i'm a fan of two gringos but we're going to use this so turn this into a ball season that ball throw it on the grill at 250 wait until the internal temperature hits 150 pull it break it down make your sliders double smoke them let's get right to it All right, guys, so now that we've got uh, my hands washed again so I can hold the spice bottle, I really need to get gloves, I know. So this is the finished meatball, and we're just going to take our chubacabra, and we're going to actually rub it pretty heavily here because we want that seasoning. And again, doing this with one hand is just pleasant. But go ahead and just rub your entire meatball. Do it over the bowl so that when you... Uh, Turn it, it falls back in and you can reuse some of that. Of course, you're gonna spill some here. Tray would be probably better. All right, so now that we've got the ball all the way seasoned up, put it in there, mix it all around, get it <laughs> properly coated. And we're just gonna take this guys right to the smoker and throw it on, meat probe it, wait for 150. This will be nice and cooked. Ooh, yeah. Alrighty, so I have uh, cleared out my master built. I put a little drip tray in there and uh, we're gonna collect those drippings. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them, but I just don't want them going into the bottom of my master belt. So 250 degrees, we got plenty of smoke rolling today. It is about, I don't know, 35 degrees out. And we're gonna let this sit until that meat gets to 150. So we'll be back in just a bit. All right, guys. Well, I added a few more potatoes to the grill for another video, but this is at 150-ish degrees. So carefully remove the probe. It's going to leak, as you can see. They always do that. That's why I put that uh, tray below. So now that we're at 150, we're going to let this drip a little bit more. We're going to put it onto my tray. We're going to take it inside, break it apart, and then we'll begin the building of the sliders. All right, guys, the easy step of the process. We've got our meat cooked. I've bowled it up here. It's obviously finely chopped. I just used a wooden spoon, chopped it up a bunch. You can use a knife. You can put it in a blender for all I care. You just want your meat to be nice and blended. I've got a uh, pretty much half a cup of, of onion. We're only gonna do one side onion just so that if there's a non-onion person around, we can have a non-onion version. We've got some cheddar cheese slices and I've got some pickles here. Uh, these are Famous Dave's pickle chips. Uh, these are the devil spit with the punched up peppery heat. So those are actually really nice. I'm going to do a little bit of those. And some Chick-fil-A sauce. Who doesn't love a good Chick-fil-A sauce? So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do, um, I have these King's Hawaiian uh, sliders. These are actually the pretzel bun version. The tops are over here. Bottoms are on this tray. This tray is actually a vegetable grilling tray. It's got holes in the bottom of it. Uh, that's going to allow a lot more smoke to come through, but you do need to watch your bottom bun from burning. Um, we're going to be smoking it at about 250. So we're going to go ahead and first take our meat and go ahead and just layer that on top of the buns here. Nothing special to it. Go ahead and put as much on as you think you might need. You want to make sure each slider kind of has its own amount of meat. Um, and again, this was a pound of beef and a pound of pork. So 
you probably will be able to make more than I'm making. I think I'm going to have plenty of leftovers here. Um, but we're just going to sprinkle all that out. This was drained, you know, as I cut it, it kind of drained out. So you don't want to put a really greasy meat on top of your slider meat, uh, on top of your slider buns. So go ahead and layer that all out. And uh, I actually have some left in the house. So I definitely do have a little bit of leftovers. I, I planned this out just right. So each slider has its own amount of meat on it. Next step, <clears throat> I'm going to put my onion on one side just because I, I personally like a little fresh onion on there. You could saute these as well. It's up to you, the type of flavor you're looking for. Um, so we're just going to slightly sprinkle those. There we go. Now we're going to take our cheese and we're just going to put that everywhere on this side anyway. This side is going to be pretty plain. It's just going to be cheese and um, some sauce. So nice and plain for those that are more plain. And it looks like that is a perfect amount. You really need eight slices of cheese if you're doing this or four per uh, King's Hawaiian pretzel bun. The bigger ones are different. Then I'm going to take these pickles. These are those devil spit pickles. And we're going to lay um, kind of one. This is the hard part where you can't really line them up very well. Um, but I'm just going to lay a few out here just so when they do cut, they turn out pretty good. You want to kind of line them up with the with the bread underneath. So pickles there. Um, now with my clean hand, I'm just going to break out the Chick-fil-A sauce. And what I'm going to do, set this aside here. I'm going to pull in my pretzel bun. And we're just going to dollop each bun with some chick sauce, Chick-fil-A sauce. And you can use whatever sauce you want. Some people even like to mix this in with the meat. I've seen a couple recipes like that, but I personally want the meat flavor to, to shine, but it's all gonna kind of blend together. So again, we've got our dollops all over there. We're gonna go ahead and carefully rest that down on that side. And same thing with the plain side. Chick-fil-A on each slider bun. It may seem like a lot, but remember, it's gonna drain off. A little and you kind of want that sauce flavor oh, it looks like this that one bread kind of jumped away from me there oh well definitely jumped away so all right so all my sliders are done got some meat coming out on both sides but guys that's pretty much it we're going to take this now we're going to pop it in the smoker at 250 and we're just going to keep an eye on it i'm thinking at least 30 minutes um they say to oven these for at 300 but we're going to go 250 to get some more smoke flavor on it it's still going to melt the cheese the meat's cooked, so all we're looking for is a soft bun and melted cheese. Let's get right to it. All right, here we go. I am obviously currently in the process of doing some smoked uh, potato skins. But guys, we're at 250, and all we're going to do is just slide this on the bottom tray here. And again, that holes in the vegetable tray will allow that smoke to come up through. So we're going to let this sit out here. We'll come back in 30 minutes, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, it's been about a half hour. I did come out and put a piece of tin foil over the top, but not much there to slow down the smoke. And as you can see, cheese is good and melted. It probably could go a little more, quite honestly. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit more, and we will give it a shot here shortly, though. Look how good that looks. All right, ladies and gents, I think we are in the final melt stages <laughs> and before i toast my buns too much i wanted to show you guys just what it's supposed to look like that ooey gooey deliciousness in there i was gonna get some b-roll with the shot but guys i think we're done we're gonna go ahead and pull these off carve one out and i'm gonna give it a taste test on camera for you here but look how delicious that looks all right guys moment of truth a very delicious looking <laughs> slider pickle cheese smoked pork and beef chick-fil-a sauce little onion on a pretzel bun not much more you can ask for there great little appetizer for super bowl or any kind of party you're going to oh my gosh guys <laughs> that's fantastic and i've never made this before in my life so highly recommend that chick-fil-a sauce really does add a lot to it um boy <laughs> meat is like 
one of my favorite meats. It's the same meat I put in my chili, so I know it's going to be good. The pickle, while it was a spicy pickle, I don't even sense that with that Chick-fil-A sauce, calming it down. Onions in there, they're really nice too. Um, boy. <laughs> Go try it, guys. Great recipe. Highly recommend it. See you on the next one.